Welcome back, Food Jacks. It's time to give away more stuff. Are you ready for part two? Come on in close. So when Grill Light contacted me, that's the company who sent all this, they said, hey, our stuff has lights on it. I'm thinking, hmm, how many times I've been out there about the grill and I can't see anything. I got my iPhone light and trying to cook and all that stuff. It's just horrible. Well, all their stuff has lights on it. Well, almost all this stuff. Let me show you what we got here. Let's start with the grilling mat. Their grilling mat, and you know I've reviewed a lot on the show. Their grilling mat is a 2017 bestseller. It's twice as thick as other grilling mats. It can go up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit where other mats will melt at 500. You have a square one and a round one. I'm guessing that's for pizza. And you can do your pizza over here while on the other side of the grill, you're doing your ribs. Wow, these are thick. These are really cool. Then let's take a look at the grill light, just the spatula. Okay, just I'm leaving it in the box to show you how bright it is. Ready? Here we go. I'm just gonna turn it on right now, watch. Look at, it lights up, it's an LED light, super bright, see that? So, I mean, it covers a wide area. It's lighting up my kitchen. It spans out like that much. So whatever you're trying to get under with this spatula, wow, that's really bright. And all of the utensils are water resistance, they're LED flashlights, dishwasher safe, and take AA batteries, which are included when you purchase them. Or you can go with the grill light set. It's the tongs. Look, the tongs even have a, let me rip this open, hang on. So here's the tongs, even they have a light. Turn the light on. There you go, you, you can see on my hand when you're working. Oh, you can see it on, oh, forget it, look at that. You don't even need my hand. That's like a whole flashlight on your tongs. Isn't that cool? That is awesome. And they have a special design too. So like if you turn it this way, they lock. If you turn it this way, they open. So if you're one-handed cooking, you can lock it by turning it that way, or you can open it by turning it that way. And then for you big burger fans, look at that bad boy. This is your extra wide light up spatula. Uh, honestly, I use this to get under under pulled pork. I just slide right under my pulled pork. Uh, that's what this is gonna be used for. This is amazing. And for the guy who's been really good all year, get him the entire set with the tongs, the spatula, the fork, and the basting brush. And down here is an apron. Look at this, there's a magnetic strip that goes through the apron that holds all your utensils right in place. For those of you who like to tear it up, we even have the grill claws by Grill Light. These guys thought of everything. You don't know what this is for? This is for like shredding your pulled pork or even picking it up off or your brisket. You can use it to pick up off of your smoker if you don't have anything else. These things are beastly. I've used pairs like this on the show, but they weren't as well built as these. So you're probably asking, what's the giveaway today? I'm gonna tell you what the giveaway today is. The giveaway is a whole grill set. You're gonna get this whole four piece set. You're gonna get the wide spatula and you're gonna get the grilling mats. All that's $140 value. And thank you very much to Grill Light for donating this as a giveaway to one of my viewers. Please USA entries only. We can't ship internationally. Go to facebook.com slash cookingwithjack and like the page and then write me and tell me you wanna go with this grill set. As you guys have seen on the show, I use my hot hands a lot. I'm a big fan of my hot hands. These were sent to the show. They go up to 425 degrees and that's great, but something better just came along. A company called Survival Brand Distributors Worldwide sent these gloves. That's right, we're gonna pull them out right now and they claim they're way better than hot hands and I, I have to believe them because they go up to 450 degrees. That's right, 450 degrees. Now I've cooked as high as 450 degrees, so I'm definitely in need of something like this. Now what's cool is, here's the great part about it is, there's fabric inside so that when you put your hand in and out, you can get it in and out. It goes in and it comes out. The problem with the hot hands is, it's silicone inside, you can't get your hand out of the other gloves. These are amazing. They're, they're amazing feel inside, they're cushy, and they got that great silicone exterior. So we're gonna test these right now. 
I'm gonna grab a pan at 450 degrees with the hot hands and the other hand's gonna have this and I'm gonna feel the difference. Oven's at 450, we have a cookie sheet in. That's at 450 obviously too. Got my new survival brand silicon oven glove. Got my hot hands on the other side. <clears throat> Open this up, grab the pan. And the hot hands is allowing the heat through. The hot hands is too hot. Whoa, that didn't take long at all. And Survival Brands is holding up. Nice job, guys. There you go, proof's right there. Since these gloves held up so well, Survival Brands is allowing me to give away two pair of these gloves. We have black, we have blue, and we have red. Okay, it's time to go check out our cold brew coffee in our rumble jar. All right, so first I'm just gonna try it just like it is. Oh, I should give it another good shake. There we go. All right, down the hatch. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's not bitter. I, coffee, when I drink coffee, whether it's hot or cold, it has that bitterness to it. How does that happen? How does cold brew treat it any different? I guess maybe heat pulls out the bitterness? I don't know, but, oh, it smells good. All right, now we're gonna make it even better. The only thing missing is peppermint mocha cream. Look at that, a little more coffee, beautiful. Mix it up. Oh, it smells all holiday in here. Ah, cheers again. Oh my goodness. That's a $5 drink right there. Unbelievable, guys. Try this out, Rumble Jar, and they don't need your support, but you need their product. I'm telling you that right now. Show them some love, go over to Kickstarter, and pledge for your rum. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but on a past Toys in the Kitchen episode, I got this microwave cover that you pop in here and you put your food underneath and it's a splatter control. Well, there's another one that just came out. Let's just pretend I'm putting a plate of food in the microwave, right? And it's sitting in there and I need to cover it. This is the hover cover. It just goes right over the plate of food, just like that. Beautiful, right? Keeps the splatter under control, it's beautiful. Well, now I'm ready to take my food out. Watch this. Oh. Whoops. Oh no. You've gotta be kidding me. It's supposed to. <laughs> okay, well we have a little situation here because this hover cover is a failure because the top of my microwave isn't metal. Only part of it's metal back there. Okay. So when we find a failure, I can't recommend you buying this. So I bought it, just an example to show you, but the roof of mine isn't metal. Some of them are, and this would stick right up there like that. And it stays there until you need it. But unfortunately, they didn't realize that not all microwaves are metal roofs. So that's it. I really don't wanna end on a bad note because we've done all these giveaways and all these great things for the kitchen that I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of some product reviews that are coming up and I'm gonna get them all in hopefully before Christmas. Your first sneak peek item is the Red Copper Five Minute Chef. Your second sneak peek item is the Red Copper Brownie Bonanza. Perfect brownies every time. Well, we will find out soon. And your final sneak peek product is Hasbro's Easy Bake Ultimate Oven. Not just the oven, it's the ultimate oven. There it is, guys. So down below is the directions on how to enter to win any of my giveaways. It's also a list of all the products we reviewed and links to buy them if you want to, if you don't win. All right? Whew. What an episode. I love this. Toys in the kitchen. Now get out there and enjoy the holiday season. Merry Christmas.